Hi Cancer and welcome to your love story tarot reading. This is a unique tarot reading as I'm going to really try to focus in on very specific details and only really read one story um, through the tarot cards. Due to that, uh, I will also upload a second love story tarot reading for your sign on February 14th, okay? So this um, could talk about somebody that you're currently with, somebody that you're, you know, not with at this time, but my intention for this reading is that there's mutual love and that this relationship does, you know, is a long-standing relationship or you guys get back together. It's mutual love. It's not a love story about somebody playing games and things like that, okay? It's not to say there's not a challenge, but it's mutual love that I'm reading. So let's see what the past life connection is that you share with the person that's going to come through in this reading. We have a father. So... Aries actually had the mother card. With this energy right here, it can mean a few different things. Now, before I even get into that, I want to say this. Your personality, your gender, all of that is just the costume of your soul for the role that you're playing this lifetime. Your soul is genderless, okay? So with this card, what it's telling me is your past life connection is either like you were your partner's father or your partner was your father or you guys shared the same father or the relationship that you had with your partner in past life was that of a mentor, a very masculine um, energy. You could have been male as well um, or you could have been female, but it's like the energy of father is your past life connection somehow, some way. So let's <clears throat> let's pull some tarot cards to see who you are. Okay, we had some flipped over. Who you are before you meet this person and who they are before they meet you. So that you can see, you know, is this reading for you? Is this reading resonating with you? Like I said, it's very specific. It's going to resonate or it's not. And this card just um, flew out. So we'll see what that's about. So you are showing as the tower reversed, the five of wands reversed, and the six of cups reversed. They're coming through as the star reversed, the queen of cups reversed, and justice reversed. Okay, so making sense to me. Um, because we have the Six of Swords that flew out. So this is a relationship that definitely is together and has a breakup at some point. But like I said, it, this relationship does get back together. And with Justice coming out, this could be like you guys are married in the whole nine yards. Now, as far as telling you what sign this partner is, I cannot say that just yet because we have the Aquarius card. We have the Queen of Cups, which could represent any of the water elements, um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But then Justice is also the Libra card. So we have three different sun sign energies there. Well, two different sun sign energies, and then this representing the three water signs. So I'm not going to say which sign this is yet. I want to pull more cards before I define that specifically. But it's just um, the way you're showing this is a relationship that is 
is together and then it breaks up but you guys are soulmates and it looks like they get really emotional and pessimistic like they don't believe that anything's going to change or that you guys are going to reconcile or you know just something like that it's just a very pessimistic type of thinking and attitude but they do come into balance and for you we have the tower reversed and this is like shock you know change and so I see a breakup here so this isn't before you guys met this is like you break up and now we're estranged from each other and that's come through like that in a couple of different readings so let's see what reconnects you what brings you back together with this person because this is definitely not a relationship where you meet for the first time and you're just together and you never break up that's just that's that no you guys definitely break up but you will get back together that the six of swords flew out so we get back together we move into smoother times brings you back together we have a lot of passion and energy for each other um, also finances and resources it might be better to you know cohabitate than to be apart we have the reverse moon um, this could come back to this energy of pessimism and negativity and being afraid, you know, fearful. Look at this. We have the Six of Cups reversed again. We are soulmates. That's why we come back together. And we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So honestly, what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, is you guys get back together for a couple different reasons. Um, for one, you guys are soulmates. We have the Six of Cups reversed twice. So we're soulmates, we love each other, um, but also it's more than that. It looks like there's some financial struggle either on your side or their side or both sides and that might be what also brings you back together is you're like, you know what, this is stupid, we love each other, it's financially harder for us to be apart, being without you, you know, I feel depressed, you're all I really want to be with. So. Let's see how this relationship unfolds when we get back together. And to add to the pot, now we have some earth energy. So again, I cannot define the sign of your partner just yet. I can say this, it's, so far it's everything but fire, so you have um, air energy, water energy, and earth energy, but no fire energy sitting over there. Alright, look at, look at what's at the bottom of that deck, reconciliation, yep, what happens when that takes place and look at next card give your relationship a chance express your love heart to heart conversation flirt playfulness and free yourself so what I feel here is you know, express your love and heart-to-heart -heart conversation sitting right underneath the Eight of Wands. That is communication, that Eight of Wands. And this is, I love you. You know, I don't want to be without you. And there is flirty, playful, sensual energy coming through these cards. So if you were lacking that, it, it it's present again, okay? And then free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like one of you, um, or maybe even both of you, one of you really suffers from like depression or mood swings. And 
um, it gets addressed, I feel, when we come back together and take back control of your life. Like, everything is, like, better, okay? Um, because we do get ourselves under control. We do get those emotions under control. Maybe there's some medication that somebody needs to take, but it's like everything is better, okay? I I like it. I, I really like your reading. Um, looks like it's some heavy stuff, but you guys come back together because you really love each other, and honestly... I think it's financially hard for both of you to be um, without each other. It's just easier to be in a relationship financially, but um, it's m so much more than that. You guys do love each other. And there's just, I keep feeling like depression, and it finally gets help. Like, there, it gets fixed, which brings forth this new energy of flirtiness and playfulness, sensuality and passion. So let's pull a card to see. Um, you know what? <laughs> I skipped a step with you guys, Cancer. So let's pull a card and see what your energies are here when we're in these spaces and then what it transitions into when we get back together. I was supposed to draw these before. I draw the tarot or the romance angels. The river queen flow, letting go, natural movement. So, Cancer, you just were like, you know what? This is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. I'm not going to fuss. I'm not going to fight anymore. I'm going to just let this go. So, I feel you are the one that caused the separation, meaning you asked for it because... There was just too much stuff happening. And they're showing as the queen of the light, illumination, enlightenment, celebration. So through this departure, it brought them to the light. Like it changed things for them. They see things from a new perspective. And I think that's partly why you get back together. Like they need to, if they're depressed or emotional, they need to work on that. If they have money issues, they need to work on that. Like they come into that perspective, that understanding, that knowing of what they need to do to improve themselves to be with you because the cancer I'm reading for is the one that ended this relationship because letting go, like you're like, I can't handle this anymore. You need to get yourself together. So let's see what you transition into once this relationship reconciles. We have the prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. This is interesting. The sacred union over here. So, um... Cancer, they love you. They are, they really are in love with you. Um, but there's something about you where now you're like, I don't know. Um, you might be afraid. You might be scared of the relationship. Or um, I'm just, I'm stumped that that's what came out for you. Based on these cards, you know, uh, okay, no, I'm not. It makes totally sense now. I really feel like your partner struggled with depression or you really struggled with depression, one of you. And that's what like splits you apart is some sort of like emotional imbalance or mental imbalance that could be corrected and that's what made you guys go your separate ways. And you do get back together. And this, the prison wave, the self-sabotage, the poverty consciousness, like, that's dissipated now, okay? Because of the work that either you put into yourself or they put into themselves, okay? So if you were the one that was, like, depressed and suffering through that, that leaves you. I feel like that's why this is coming out. Now, if they are the one 
it's like finally now you don't have to deal with this energy anymore because they've gotten help and they are coming through as a sacred union as being very in love and very invested in you. So let's see what the soul lessons are for the two of you this lifetime. And you know, with the Queen of the Light, <clears throat> I'm feeling so strong that this is like a water sign energy because, you know, we do have the Queen of Cups there and then we have the Queen of Light, which is also like a water energy to me, psychic energy. So I feel like your partner here is a fellow water sign or has a lot of water in their natal chart, I should say. Okay, so we have the higher self, the hanging man, and the tower. Wow, so we have the tower here twice. What this tells me is the two of you, like, there's a lot of spiritual growth that you intend to happen through the experience of your romantic partnership, okay? Like, you guys intended that before you came here. And with the hanging man, that to me says there is a period where you guys are separated from each other so that you can come into a new perspective. You can become illuminated, enlightened, expand, move beyond the uh, prison wave, the depression, the pessimism, the negative thinking, okay? And here it's like after that period of waiting is over, it's like radical change where you guys have this kind of relationship that you never had before, okay? But it comes after the separation, after the breakup, after we come into a new perspective, which comes from our soul. And you both do, okay? You both do. So I'm going to pull you some advice from the Whispers of Love deck here about this relationship. Well, I was only going to pull three. I don't know how many is here, but... Treasure your loved ones. Yes. Love your partner no matter what, okay? You guys have a beautiful soulmate connection here, and I definitely think you're meant to be. Love who you are. Honesty is essential. Get to know each other. This, to me, is like... You, when you come back together, you get to know each other again, okay? Speak the language of love and look at your pattern in relationships. So, yeah, you guys, when you come back together, there's going to be a totally different energy. We're going to be honest with each other. We're going to pay attention to each other. We're going to love ourselves as well. We're going to work on our own personal self-esteem and self-love so that we have something to offer each other. And you are really going to treasure each other in a way that you haven't before and speak the language of love it, and honesty. It's like we're not lying to each other. We're not talking down to each other. We're not belittling each other anymore. We're moving past our old patterns and we're starting something brand new. We're getting to know each other all over again. So for some of you, this separation could be, you know, just a few weeks, few months. Um, I'm going to say definitely not weeks. It's going to be months, okay, just because of the growth that needs to take place. For some of you, this could be like a couple years that you're broken up, okay? So... Cancer, that is the love story that I have for you guys. I will be uploading another one on the 15th, like I said. I do hope that this resonated with you. Um, if it didn't, like I said, I'm uploading another one on the 14th. I wish you all the best and love. Take care.